this fault, uh, this uh, drop, uh, because we are we have to make the voltage which is a uh, obviously uh, equal to 440 volt or obviously which is equal to uh, 230 volt. Yes, in the case of uh, the industry or in the case of uh, household appliances. Yes, and to compensate this voltage at uh, let's say at substation level then uh, we have to use the on load tap changer so in the last class uh, we have discussed this concept uh, very uh, clearly and uh, i hope you understood this concept because in your exam the question will be asked for you to explain the condition monitoring of on load tap changer so basically uh, there is a no point is covered for on load tap changer in your syllabus inside the electrical machine or you can say in the power system yes so i have to cover that particular topic first and then uh, we can do the condition monitoring in a better way for our uh, tap changer yes so this is the picture uh, which we have uh, seen for the last time and uh, this is the important switching principle of the on load tap changer so it consists of the two parts so that is tap selector is available so the arrow is uh, available here and uh, we have to select according to our uh, application yes and uh, this is called as a diverter switch yes so this diverter switch obviously this is the fixed part and uh, this is the uh, moving part so this moving part will uh, move in a such a way that it will touch to this it will touch to this it will touch to this and uh, this is called as a current limiting resistors yes so this function which you have seen and this is the model or you can say design of this particular on load tap changer yes so this is the real picture which we have seen in the last time and you can see over here the indicator indicates the position which is shifted from uh, you can say one to five yes and uh, we are interested to compensate the voltage or you can say to boost the voltage we are using the on load tap changer yes so these are the traditional on load tap changers are uh, available yes and obviously there is a chart is available on the particular on load tap changer and uh, according to the tap number we have to compensate the amount of percentage and the appropriate transformation ratio is going to select with the help of this on load tap changer yes now we are interested for the condition monitoring and maintenance for on load tap changer becoming or you can say as an electrical engineer we are interested to do a uh, maintenance for our uh, OLTC so we know that whenever there is a opening and closing of contacts are available so this is the fixed contact and uh, whenever there is a moving contact is available because of the opening and closing of these two contacts there is a spark is going to produce yes same case is going to arise in our house also might be have seen तुम्हाला कळत असेल की ज्या वेळेस तुमच्या घरामध्ये लाईट म्हणजे अंधार असतो येस अँड वेन एव्हर यू आर गोईंग टू स्विच ऑन द बटन सडनली जर तुम्ही स्विच ऑन जर बटन केलं तुमचं सो यू माईट गेट और यू माईट सी द स्पार्क इन साइड द डिस्ट्रीब्युशन बॉक्स त्या बॉक्समध्ये तुम्हाला कदाचित स्पार्क दिसत असेल हाऊ दॅट स्पार्क ऑकर्स बिकॉज देर इज अ फिक्स कॉन्टॅक्ट इज अवेलेबल अँड देर इज अ moving contact is available whenever you are going to close this moving contact to fix contact obviously there is a spark is going to observe yes this spark produce and the oil degrades over the time as we know that to minimize this spark we have to use the oil which is nothing but the insulating material as the continuous sparking is available or a continuous on off application is available because of this this oil degrades over the time yes and we know that the degradation means losing its property the oil test and analysis needs to be done in lab at regular interval so that is nothing but the condition monitoring as the regular word indicates it relates to the condition monitoring the contacts wear over the time after number of operations so wear and tear of contacts can be possible so we have to take care of that contacts also so this contacts fix and moving contact the oil seals damage over the time and leakage happens so this oil which we require for uh, you can say the extinguish purpose so that 
is going to damage over the time and uh, there might be the condition from where the leakage is going to happen so maintaining the oil level is a must because if the leakage is uh, available at that point then uh, we have to maintain the or we have to remove this particular leakage to maintain the oil level uh, constant for the condition monitoring it's must to check for oil leak and level regularly oil dripping is a dangerous so if the oil drips continuously for environment as well as for the human also yes hence oltc includes a lot of gear springs and mechanical parts which have usual wear and tear that need to be take care as when required so uh, we have seen that video in that video we have seen that uh, the power plant is available the load side is available for you can say the customer is available or you can say the household appliances are available and as well as the industry are available so from the power station there is a substation is available and from that substation uh, we are getting the power yes to compensate the voltage we are uh, putting this oltc in conjunction with the transformer so this is the transformer which is available with us so this is called the power transformer and this power transformer is coupled with the oltc so oltc is available with this power transformer yes and we know that a uh, lot of gear arrangement is available lot of mechanical parts are also available the spring is a uh, pressure is available for uh, you can say the re uh, on and off application so there can be chances of uh, wear and tear and that we have to take care now there is a one type of uh, on load tap changer obviously vacuum type in which the vacuum material is used as the arc quenching medium yes so the spark which we are going to observe that we can quench with the help of this vacuum tumhala kalat asel ata ki vacuum manje kay baraj vela mi material science shikotanna kadachi sangitla asel tumhala ki to create a vacuum it involves a tedious process tumhala kalat asel ki tumcha gharamadhe jar if we want to make a vacuum yes or we have to establish a vacuum then we have to remove the air from uh, you can say particular uh, room yes and make sure that no new air is going to uh, take place inside that particular room yes so it is it was a tedious or it is a tedious process this vacuum type oltc uses a vacuum interrupters which has some advantages over oil or sf6 so this is not in your syllabus but uh, for the knowledge purpose i am taking this part because see we are always interested to uh, use a better system so if you are using a oil on load tap changer so obviously the oil problems are available so one can minimize that oil problems with the help of vacuum but no doubt the vacuum uh, interrupters or vacuum type oltc has a high cost than the oil it is hermetically sealed and has no interaction with surrounding medium despite the arc contact sphere is lower than oil or sf6 so uh, sf6 is nothing but sulfur hexa fluoride so that is a name or that is a gas is available which is acting as a insulator sulfur s stands for sulfur 6 stands for hexa and f stands for fluoride yes so this is the name of that particular gas which we are using as a arc quenching medium so this is arc quenching medium which we are using no aging or quenching medium is required as the vacuum uh, we are using yes so there is no use of oil or there is no use of sf6 it is more environment friendly vacuum interrupters perform up to 6 you can say 6 uh, lakh operation with out replacement so you can see the number of uh, operations uh, we can perform with the vacuum interrupters and the advantages part is it has a low maintenance cost and greater reliability yes obviously being an electrical engineer we have to maintain the reliability of uh, power supply and if you are using the advanced techniques like uh, vacuum type uh, oltc then uh, because of this oltc vacuum type oltc 
we can ensure the reliability of our power system yes so this is all about the condition monitoring of on load tap changer yes so you can see the picture of uh, vacuum oltc and inside this vacuum oltc the vacuum interrupters are used yes basically now we are interested for the next term so in the today's uh, class for the practical i told you that we will discuss this concept dissolved gas analysis of the transformer oil by the name you can understood that uh, we have to do the analysis yes for what for a transformer oil now why we have to take or why we have to do the dissolved gas analysis so inside the industry it is abbreviated as dga so if you are going to see or you are going to heard the word uh, dga it is related to dissolved gas analysis yes we know that whenever the electrical power transformer goes under abnormal thermal and electrical stresses so the name or the word indicate itself abnormal which is not normal yes it means if the temperature is going to increase in the abnormal way if the electrical stresses now this electrical stresses is nothing but is related to the voltage or current in that way yes at that time what is going to happen at that time certain gases are produced we know that every cause has some effect so what is the cause over here cause is abnormal increase in temperature or you can say abnormal increase in voltage or current because of this so when these abnormal thermal and electrical stresses are observed for electrical power transformer we know that electrical power transformer there is oil is available yes or you can say transformer oil is available which is used for purpose of cooling as well as for the purpose of insulation inside this transformer oil because of this stresses there is a gas is going to produce certain gas is going to produce yes because due to the decomposition of transformer insulating oil so if the transformer oil is get decomposition or it is responsible for uh, decompos uh, decompositionized because of this stresses there is a possibility of certain gases now what is the purpose of this gas or why this gas is going to observe because of the abnormal stresses when the fault is major it means because of the uncontrolled uh, increase in temperature or because of uncontrolled increase in current it is nothing but the fault yes if the fault is major the production of decomposed gases so these gases are more and they get collected in buckles relay now uh, there is a question for you what is a buckles relay yes now for this concept let me share my screen and uh, i have to explain you what is a buckles relay because see if you are not going to understood what is a buckles relay there is no point to study the dissolved gas analysis yes so uh, let me share my screen for this uh, buckles relay and with the help of this buckles relay you get information how this buckles relay is going to work actually yes so uh, just a minute let me share my screen for this buckles relay yes just a minute huh? so this is the image so just a minute so let me share my screen for that particular part <coughs> i have to share the entire screen okay. and uh, here is the
just a minute. So I have to use this image inside my PPT so that uh, we get run actually. Uh, the diploma uh, students might know this uh, because really clearly and uh, for the regular people uh, I want to explain this because really because uh, this the, you can say the protection equipment for the uh, electrical transformer. Yes. So I hope the screen is visible to you now. Yes, huh. okay. Uh, so this is the you can say the Buckles relay. Yes, here you can see the conservator path is shown. We know that the Buckles relay is connected in between the transformer main tank and uh, in between the conservator. Yes, uh, what is the conservator? Conservator is nothing but it, it is a part of uh, electrical transformer. Yes, and uh, you can see over here this is the path of uh, the uh, oil yes and uh, here you can see there are two switches are available so whenever we are going to run this uh, animation because of the gases production this uh, trip circuit get completed and uh, you can say that it will get isolated that particular electrical transformer will get isolated if the gases produced are in large quantity yes but if the gases produced are not in large quantity then what we have to do yes uh, let me tell you that these Buckles relay will act as a uh, protection equipment for the electrical transformer. Now you can uh, uh, know uh, what is the meaning of relay. Relay is nothing but which sends the fault. And the circuit breaker is the, you can say the electrical uh, component which breaks the electrical supply. Yes. So here you can see the mercury switches are available so here you can see the mercury switches are available and they are connected with the trip circuit completed so they are connected to circuit breaker yes and here you can see the bubbles or you can see the grasses are going to produce they are going to get heat first to the alarm because we know that uh, before the trip circuit or before the isolation of the supply we have to give the warning so this is nothing but the warning you can say the alarm circuit is available yes and because of this uh, lifting of the particular uh, the mercury switches these connections are get closed and uh, we will get the alarm at this point yes and if the gases produced are very large so they are going to get uh, you can say the trip circuit get completed and uh, the electrical transformer will uh, get protected from that particular fault yes and how these gases are going to produce? Uh, these gases are going to produce because of the fault inside the transformer. The transformer is a good thing in the substation. If the transformer fails, if the transformer is in the condition of the substation, then the substation is a good thing in the So, uh, in some books, it is also called as uh, transformer is a heart of power system or transformer is the heart of uh, you can say the substation yes and we have to protect this uh, transformer with the help of uh, number of relays number of protection devices or you can say the number of circuit breakers so this is the one you can say the method to protect the transformer from the fault yes so i hope you understood this concept of the uh, Buckles relay yes if you are not understood the concept, then you can drop me the message. I will try to explain you in a better way. Okay. Now, here I have mentioned uh, the major is the fault, the production of the decomposed gases. So these gases, decomposed gases, these bubbles you can see are called as gases. So they are going to sense with the help of this Buckles relay. Yes. So that is uh, the meaning of this uh, sentence. Yes. But, so this but is very important. But, when the abnormal thermal and electrical stresses are not significantly high. Not significantly high means 
the production of these gases are very less yes obviously they are not get captured by this bacol's relay now what we have to do as because of the stresses are not significantly high the gases due to decomposition of the transformer insulating oil will get enough time to dissolve in the oil tumhala ka dislat tak ki ja vales thermal kiwa electrical stresses he jast astil त्यावेळेस गॅस हा जास्त प्रोड्यूस होईल इलेक्ट्रिकल ऑइल मध्ये ट्रान्सफॉर्मर ऑइल मध्ये आणि तो कलेक्ट केला जाईल तुमच्या बकॉल्स रिलेने आणि बकॉल्स रिलेने जर तो इंडिकेशन घेतलं की गॅस हे जास्त प्रोड्यूस होत आहे म्हणजे कुठेतरी फॉल्ट आला आहे तो काय करेल आयसोलेट करेल पण जर तुमचे जे स्ट्रेसेस थर्मल आणि इलेक्ट्रिकल स्ट्रेसेस हे कमी असतील तर काय होईल तुमचे जे गॅस काय होऊन जाईल डिझॉल्व्ह होऊन जाईल कशामध्ये इन्सुलेटिंग ऑइल मध्ये तो डिझॉल्व्ह होऊन जाईल येस हेन्स by only monitoring the bacol's relay it is not possible to predict the condition of the total internal healthiness of the electrical power transformer tumhala kal dasala ta ki mi tumhala sangitlo hota ki transformer madhe internal fault mhanje je aat madhe ghadtat te ani external mhanje tyacha body var je ghadtat te yes we have divided fault into two categories internal fault which is going to happen inside the transformer and external fault means outside the transformer yes we know that we are using a transformer oil inside yes but transformer oil madhe jar gases produce hot astil mhanje kuthe tari fault ala ahe ani to collect konala kay jato kela jato bacol's relay la collect kela jato yes hence we cannot predict the condition of the total internal healthiness of the electrical power transformer then what we have to do that is why it becomes necessary to analyze what to analyze the quantity of different gases dissolved in transformer oil in the service to tumhala kal dasala ki te oil ghaycha apan ki jithe he kami gases he produce zale astil yes and we have to do the analysis yes from the dissolved gas analysis of a transformer oil or dga of transformer oil one can predict the actual condition of internal health of the transformer so it is the best tool what is the dga it is the best tool to check the internal health of a transformer maha barach government exam madhe kiwa barach interview madhe ha question vicharatat ki what is the purpose of dissolved gas analysis so the answer is the dissolved gas analysis is used for to check the actual condition of internal health of the transformer yes i hope you understood this point and why we have to do this dga or dissolved gas analysis now it is preferable preferable to conduct dga test of a transformer oil in routine manner yes so routine manner means uh, we have to do uh, you, you can get uh, we have to make the schedule yes and one can say uh, weekly Uh, we have to check the or we have to conduct this dga test on particular transformer oil to get the prior information about the trend of deterioration of the transformer health and life yes generally which gases we are found in this uh, dissolved gas analysis generally the gases found in the oil in service are hydrogen methane ethane ethylene acetylene carbon monoxide carbon dioxide nitrogen and oxygen tumhala ka dasala ta ki evde gases ye produce hotat kasha madhe transformer oil madhe ani kasha mule produce hotat te because of fault yes so most commonly used method of determining the content of these gases in oil is using a vacuum gas extraction apparatus and गॅस क्रोनोग्राफ म गव्हर्नमेंट एक्झाम मध्ये विचारतात तुम्हाला बऱ्याच वेळा की व्हॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ गॅस क्रोनोग्राफ येस सो गॅस क्रोनोग्राफ आर युज फॉर डिटरमायनिंग द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर गॅसेस विच दे आर गोइंग टू ऑकर इन साइड द ट्रान्सफॉर्मर ऑइल येस तुम्हाला काय असं की नावातच आहे वॅक्युम गॅस एक्स्ट्रॅक्शन आपला गॅस काय करायचा आहे एक्स्ट्रॅक्ट करायचा आहे कशातून तुमच्या ट्रान्सफॉर्मर ऑइल मधून येस बिकॉज वी हॅव टू चेक 
the quantity available inside the transformer oil kiti percentage he ya gases available ahe tichavarun apan tichu extraction karu shakto yes by this apparatus first gases are extracted from oil by stirring it under vacuum ta gas la kay karaycha pahile ta oil la kay karaycha pahile ki thoda stir karaycha vacuum madhe yes these extracted gases are then introduced in gas chronographs हे जे इक्विपमेंट आहेत ना गॅस क्रोनोबॉक्स मध्ये त्याला प्लेस करायचं फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ इच कंपोनंट फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ इच गॅस यस नाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस डीजीए टेस्ट ऑफ अ ट्रान्सफॉर्मर ऑइल कार्बन डायऑक्साइड सीओ सॉरी कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड एंड कार्बन डायऑक्साइड आर फाउंड इन लार्ज क्वांटिटी इट इज प्रेडिक्टेड दैट देयर इज अ डीकंपोजिशन ऑफ प्रॉपर इन्सुलेशन तुम्हाला काय दिसला आता की ज्या वेळेस सॉरी ज्या वेळेस इफ कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड अँड कार्बन डायऑक्साइड हे फाउंड झाले लार्ज क्वांटिटी मध्ये टेस्ट केल्यानंतर तर तुम्ही प्रेडिक्ट करू शकता की तिथलं जे इन्सुलेशन आहे ट्रान्सफॉर्मरच की हे काय झाले डिकम्पोजिशनच्या मार्गावर आहे येस नाव सॉरी हा मिअर यू कॅन सी द ॲबनॉर्मल फॉल्ट आर द मेन कॉज ऑफ फेल्युअर ऑफ अ ट्रान्सफॉर्मर इन सर्व्हिस abnormal fault yes as a result of transformer design hot spots manufacturer operation apne fault adi baghitle ta mhanu mi patkan deto thoda poor maintenance high moisture condition oxidized oil leaking gaskets corrosion most electrical and thermal faults can be detected by dga test in oil yes the paper insulation also slowly degrades during the life of ट्रान्सफॉर्मर तुम्हाला कळत असेल की पेपर सुद्धा वापरतात ऍज अ इन्सुलेटर येस मायका पेपर वापरतात बऱ्याचशा ट्रान्सफॉर्मर मध्ये आणि तो सुद्धा काय करतो डिग्रेड होतो काही वर्षानंतर किंवा काही दिवसांनंतर येस मोर ऑर लेस रॅपिडली डिपेंडिंग ऑन देअर ऑपरेटिंग लोडिंग कंडिशन जसं तुम्ही त्याला हाय लोड मध्ये टाकसाल किंवा एक्स्ट्रा हाय लोड मध्ये टाकसाल तुम्ही त्या ट्रान्सफॉर्मरला सो ऑब्विसली स्ट्रेस वाढेल आणि स्ट्रेस मुळे तो काय होईल तिथलं जे इन्सुलेशन असेल ते डिग्रेड होत असेल आणि बिकॉज ऑफ द डिग्रेडेशन देअर कॅन बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द गॅसेस आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस येस ओनर्स ऑफ अ ट्रान्सफॉर्मर्स विथ डिग्रेडेड पेपर आर फेस्ड विथ अ टेक्निकल अँड फायनान्शियल डिफिकल्ट सिच्युएशन जे ओनर असतील ना त्या ट्रान्सफॉर्मरचे तर ते डिग्रेडेड पेपर झाल्यामुळे ते डिफिकल्टी फेस करतात टेक्निकल पण करतात आणि फायनान्शियल पण करू शकतात येस if they do not replace these transformers in early enough they risk unplanned failures tumhala kay dasal ata ki aplo kaam kay ahe being an electrical engineer we have to do the maintenance hence we are interested for different test yes so dga test uh, you have studied today yes thermography test you have studied today yes so if you are conducting this test routinely or regularly so you are taking care of the transformer particularly yes but if you do not replace this transformer in early then it tend to unplanned failure it means what the cost of which may be very large largely exceeding the cost of the transformer itself if ata jar tumhi replace laukar kela kashala tya particular paper la tar kay hoil baka जर तुम्ही रिप्लेस केला नाही तर तो अनप्लान फेल्युअर मध्ये जाऊ शकतो आणि त्याच्यामुळे तुमचं लॉस सुद्धा होऊ शकतो आणि जर तुम्ही खूप लवकर ते रिप्लेस करत राहिले काय इन्सुलेशन पेपर तर काय होईल बघा इवन दो दे कुड स्टील ऑपरेट सॅटिस्फॅक्टरी फॉर सेव्हरल मोर इयर्स दिस विल मार्केटली इन्क्रीज देअर कॅपिटल इन्व्हेस्टमेंट कॉस्ट म्हणजे दोन प्रॉब्लिटी आहेत जर तुम्ही रिप्लेस केलं नाही तर तो पूर्ण फेल होऊ शकतो ट्रान्सफॉर्मर आणि जर तुम्ही तो इन्सुलेशन पेपर हा खूप अर्ली रिप्लेस केला तर तुम्ही काय वाढवताय तुमची कॅपिटल इन्व्हेस्टमेंट कॉस्ट ही वाढवत आहे व्हेर एस तो पेपर हा अजून काही वर्ष चालला असता पण तुम्ही काय केलं तुम्हाला वाटलं की अरे याच्यामध्ये आता गॅस दिसायला लागले तुम्हाला कार्बन डायऑक्साइड आणि कार्बन मोनॉक्साइड हे गॅस तुम्हाला दिसायला लागले येस सो तुम्ही काय केलं मग तुमच्या ओनरला सांगितलं ओनरने काय केलं तो रिप्लेस करून टाकला बट ऑब्विसली फॉर रिप्लेसमेंट देअर कॅन बी अ कॉस्ट इज इन्व्हॉल्व्ह Yes, it means what? Now you have to compare these 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड कार्बन मोनोक्साइड लेवल विथ द स्टैंडर्ड वन मैं तुम्हारा का तुम्हारे एक मैन्युअल असेल त्या मॅन्युअल मध्ये किलो होल्ट किंवा के व्ही ए चा ट्रान्सफॉर्मर आणि त्याच्या बाजूला त्याची लेवल लिहिली असेल कार्बन डायऑक्साइड आणि कार्बन मोनोक्साइडची लेवल किती परमिसिबल आहे प्रोडक्शनची त्या पर्टिक्युलर ट्रान्सफॉर्मरच्या के व्ही ए मध्ये जर तुमचा थर्टी थ्री के व्ही ए चा जर ट्रान्सफॉर्मर असेल आणि त्याच्यामध्ये यु कॅन से टू यु कॅन से जर तुम्ही दोन किंवा अडीच असं जे तरी त्याच्यामध्ये रेशो दिला असेल त्यांनी टू एस टू वन ऑर वन एस टू टू असा रेशो दिला असेल सो इट मीन्स यु हॅव टू युज दॅट पर्टिक्युलर पेपर फॉर सेव्हरल यु कॅन से वन इयर येस बट इफ दॅट रेशो इज नॉट इनफ विथ युअर स्टँडर्ड वन येस देन यु हॅव टू रिप्लेस सो तुम्हाला असं काहीतरी त्याच्यामध्ये मॅन्युअल बघून तुम्हाला तो डिसिजन घ्यावा लागेल की वेदर वेन टू रिप्लेस दॅट पर्टिक्युलर पेपर येस deciding the optimum time to replace the transformer with the degraded paper depends very much on a correct evaluation of their risk of failure at various stages of paper degradation presently there is no agreement among transformer experts on this issue so tumhala mi sangitla ki particular transformer la to particular ratio tenni define kelela nahi hai ajun yes so it means what by ट्रायल अँड एरर किंवा जर तुमच्याकडे एक्सपिरियन्स असेल तर यु कॅन रिप्लेस दॅट ऑइल यु कॅन रिप्लेस दॅट पर्टिक्युलर पेपर इन अप्रोप्रिएट वे येस नाव देर इज अ वन कन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड एज डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिमरायझेशन अँड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज डीपी सो हा पण एक छोटा कन्सेप्ट आहे तो पेपरच्या रिलेटेड असतो हा पेपर म्हणजे आपला लिहायचा पेपर नाही आहे इट इज अ इन्सुलेटिंग पेपर येस सो व्हॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ दिस a uh, degree of polymerization it indicates the age and mechanical strength of paper and life of transformer so there is a standard values available the extent of paper degradation is represented by the degree of polymerization or dp of paper so eta madhe sudha ata research hoto ahe bara paiki ani the new insulating paper has typically a dp of 1100 obviously there is a no unit for this degree of polymerization yes and high tensile strain tumhala jar kalat asel ki degree of polymerization test jar tumhi conduct keli ani jar tumchi ti insulating paper chi test ki ya 1100 peksha kami ali tar you have to replace that particular paper this high initial tensile strain is needed to run the insulating paper on winding machines used to wrap it under tension around conductors without tearing it in transformers in service dp decreases more or less rapidly depending mainly on temperature tumhala adhi sangitla ki temperature sir increase hona hi khup dangerous condition ahe transformer sathi ani tyamule kay hoil tumcha dp value hi kami hoil it is not a display picture whatsapp cha kiwa tumcha facebook cha display picture nahi ha it is a degree of polymerization and what is the value 1100 on other factors obviously moisture is available oxygen content and acidity of the oil and there is one more important conclusion the more degraded the paper is the lower its its dp jevda paper ha degrade zala asel jevda tene property lose kele asel tevda tichi ka asel value ki kami asel ta particular paper chi yes so this is the standard value of the degree of polymerization of a paper yes and uh, you can see over here a dp of 200 is presently considered in industry as the lowest value so tumhala lowest value pan maithi pahije ma dp 200 is the lowest value hai ani maximum value kiti tumchi 1100 kamit kami pahije yes ani jar 200 asel tari tumhi acceptable ahe transformer madhe it corresponds to arbitrarily to paper having lost 60% of its initial strength tensile strength मग जर तुम्ही बाराशे च्या दोनशे घेतलं तर तुम्ही सिक्स्टी पर्सेंट ऑब्विसली तिचं टेन्सल स्ट्रेंथ तुम्ही लूज केली आहे येस इट हॅज बीन अज्युम सिन्स नाईन्टीन सेव्हन्टीज दॅट बिलो अ डिपी ऑफ टू हंड्रेड पेपर इज नॉट एबल टू विथ स्टँड एनी मोर ऑफ द मेकॅनिकल फोर्सेस त्यांनी एक्सपेरिमेंट केली बऱ्यापैकी आणि त्यांना असं फाइंड आऊट झालं की दोनशे पेक्षा कमी जर तुम्हाला डीपी मिळत असेल डिग्री ऑफ पॉलिमरायझेशन मिळत असेल पर्टिक्युलर पेपरचा सो इट इज ऑफ नो यूज येस therefore that the transformers are going to fail very soon and have reached their end of life 
another popular statement is the life of the transformer is the life of paper so uh, मला नेहमी प्रत्येक वेळेस मोटो असेल त्या पर्टिक्युलर कन्सेप्टच्या किंवा एखादं से स्टेटमेंट असेल किंवा पॉप्युलर स्टेटमेंट असेल हे घ्यायला मला नेहमी आवडतं बिकॉज विथ दिस कन्सेप्ट और विथ दिस स्टेटमेंट यू कॅन अंडरस्टूड द कन्सेप्ट क्लिअरली वॉट इज अ स्टेटमेंट द लाईफ ऑफ ट्रान्सफॉर्मर इज द लाईफ ऑफ पेपर जेवढं तुमचं पेपरचं लाईफ हे चांगलं म्हणजे डीपी हा चांगला तेवढं तुमचं ट्रान्सफॉर्मरचं लाईफ हे चांगलं असं तुम्ही म्हणू शकता the accuracy of these assumptions and statements however has never really been demonstrated in transformers in service and this is the determination of dp of a paper yes how to determine the value of dp of paper now this we will discuss in the next class i hope you understood the today's concept of degree of polymerization and dga test yes and if you have any doubt related to this concept then you can ask me any time i will try to answer your question yes bara baki kalala hai what is the degree of polymerization and uh, dissolved gas analysis yes so in a few seconds uh, we will summarize the today's content what is the degree of uh, polymerization the standard value of degree of polymerization is acceptable is 1100 less than 200 it is not acceptable yes and uh, what is the statement related to this the statement is uh, very interesting the life of the transformer is the life of paper and before this we have seen the dga test yes and what is the dga test we know that whenever there is a thermal and electrical stresses are going to increase because of this electrical or thermal stresses there is a production of the gas and because of this gas production there can be a chances of uh, you can say the buckles relay can operate yes if the production of gases is very high so that is important point but if the gases produced are very less yes so you have to undergo or you have to perform a dga test yes and with this dga test if the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are available then you can see that your uh, dga test results into the uh, you can say the transformer oil you have to replace particularly yes ata kalala hai barabar ki mi thoda sa summary type chat box madhe lihna cha prayatna kela yes if you understood the concept then you can write the yes If you are not understood the concept, then uh, you can write no. Also, I will try to explain in a better way. Okay. So thank you for attending the class. And uh, yes, okay, yes. So uh, we will stop over here and uh, take care. God bless you all. You can leave the class now.